Food to me is an experience. When people eat my food, I want them to experience things through their senses, like the smell of the duck sauce. Each dish has a different emotion to it, whether it's happiness, sadness, anger, and I want them to experience that through my plates. I'm a pretty competitive person and I don't like to lose. After MasterChef Junior, I was honestly pretty distraught, I guess you could say. I invested five months into something. I put a lot of hard work, a lot of late nights, and then to have it come so close and then to be taken away from you really sucks. I think tennis and cooking have helped me out a lot because now I'm used to cooking at live TV for 800,000 people. Honestly, I enjoy pressure. It makes me achieve things that I don't think I'm capable of. What greater pressure than to plan a nine course meal, something I have never done before, invite VIPs of the food world, and just simply go for it. I've been toying with the idea of a pop-up restaurant for a while now. Maybe it's my way of getting redemption for myself. Maybe people can finally look at me as a 16-year-old chef who is the one cooking and actually creating all these dishes. And maybe it's also my time to leave my MasterChef chapter behind and start a new journey. I've planned a nine course meal and each of these dishes are symbolic. They represent important parts of my culinary journey. I want to move my guests with food and emotion. So off to the side is any creams and in the middle there's spoons. Honestly, I've put so much hard work into this. Like countless nights I was up till three prepping, I'm on like five hours of sleep. Before you're about to serve the dish, you come and put the burger on. When I got the invite, I was looking at the picture and I was like, there's a 16 year old kid that's gonna be cooking for us. I think back to when I was 16, I'm just like, I choose not to say what I was doing on camera when I was 16 years old. Good? Okay. The best, dude. thank you. We asked if there was any restrictions. Get me some mushrooms and we'll calm it. I'm going to be completely honest. I had a freak out for like 30 seconds. I was just upset because I want to make sure that he gets the same experience. They are having some fresh black truffle. It will be grated by Rami. The inspiration behind this is my time during culinary school. We have the three essences of tomato, fennel, and asparagus, and then it's made into something completely different with sous vide asparagus, seared fennel, and tomato cream. Are you shots? <laughs> Interesting to see someone of his age group be able to produce something of so much flavor and complexity. When I was auditioning for MasterChef Junior, I actually ended up cooking scrambled eggs. So I kind of just wanted to really make the egg shine on this. The quail egg with the milky was mind blowing. Literally wanted to lick the plate. I would have. <laughs> the cameras are on me. <laughs> sea asparagus, cauliflower puree, and foam. I'll make the foam wrap. Every dish she was almost telling a story. It almost felt like we really got to know him at the end of the day. Since this is my culinary journey, this is a representation of how I was after MasterChef. I didn't take it very well, so this is just kind of something that's kind of splat. I actually got emotional after you're just reading the cards and eating the food. Like, you know food is good when it touches you, just like not on the palate, but just like in your heart. I feel like I've grown so much as a chef. I push myself to a limit where I didn't think I was capable of reaching. I was on um, Jiro in Japan. It was a great experience, but I didn't think I really enjoyed it because it was a 20 minute meal. And I actually prefer today's experience over any fish one star that I've had so far. So duck symbolizes opportunity after MasterChef. A lot of doors start opening up and something as saddening as it was kind of turned into something amazing. It's just mind blowing what he is capable of. We're so excited to see what he's doing the next five years, 10 years, because he has such a great journey ahead of him. I've been dreaming about doing a pop-up restaurant for like the last year. So I just want to say thank you guys for coming here because it means a lot, so thank you. I think the message here is if you want to do something, put your mind to it, work hard, and I feel like you can achieve that.